Two, hug trees and recalibrate. Nothing like reconnecting with the codes, the natural codes, the codes of nature. Plant cannabis and hemp everywhere. We should have a civic duty to walk around scattering hemp and cannabis seeds on every street corner. We should be growing them in every crack in every pavement until we reclaim sentience, organic sentience in this world, which has become asphalted over like some huge galactic condom. Every cityscape, tarmac, Rubber damp coursing under every building, rubber soles under every, uh, everyone's feet, disconnecting us from the codes of nature. So, cannabis and hemp. And this is one of the entry points as well that we're speaking to. Finally, after God knows 150 odd years, do you know that, that there was a statute or a law in the United States, and that law said that every farmer had to farm a certain allocation of hemp? That was law. Wow! That was enlightened. Then you had Henry Ford, a very good man, building the, some of the first vehicles, Ford, out of hemp. He was closed down on that. So over 100 years ago, we could have been building cars, building homes, building streets, building clothes out of hemp. One of the most sustainable, fractal, life-affirming plants on the face of the earth. Um, the only other thing too is a superfood. It's amazing for how it shows our body a picture of pure health and our body aligns to become that. And also the country that the hemp is growing in understands the sun and that condition. So if you're eating the hemp seeds, you're effectively eating your sunscreen so you don't burn. So you're taking in the superfood that is enhancing our health. So we're radiating from the inside out. But, and so it goes on, but we all know that cannabis and hemp, are, I mean, these are just the two that we've zeroed in on with the New Earth Initiative, partly because it's the perfect fuck you to the establishment, but mostly because they are the most life-affirming plants we could imagine bringing in center stage of a new permaculture basis of renewal. So you've got a country, Indonesia, that we're all sitting in right now, 17,600-odd islands, okay? some of the most fertile, abundant land on the face of the earth. And if you are found with marijuana in your pocket, trust me, baby, you're going straight to prison, and you're not going to get out for a very long time. And if you're caught dealing with certain things, you will be executed with a firing squad. Think about that. Insane. Insane on different levels. Insane that a corporate fiction called a government dares to stand above living men and women of a living soul, uh, soil, to tell us what we can and cannot put inside our own bodies, number one. Insane proposition that we're not able to take plants from nature to heal ourselves. Insane. But at least the conversation has now peaked into the mainstream, uh, and it's happening elsewhere around the world. So we're now going and sitting down with an agricultural minister, for instance, in Africa, and saying, um, <clears throat> We'd really like uh, your permission to bring marijuana and farm it in your country. That minister invariably learned from the code book that's handed down by the United Nations or wherever else and knows that that's highly unlawful and illegal and illicit. But intelligent uh, ministers will understand the argument. We're, we're speaking with health ministers and then the land and agricultural ministries to get that message across and say, look, please understand. You are spending as a country X billion dollars or X hundred million dollars on health, on pharmaceutical products, just to maintain some semblance of doctoring, false doctoring amongst your people. Um, and if we bring in cannabis and hemp and a couple of other uh, remedials, you will, you will not just balance the books. You will eradicate 95% plus, 99% of the need to spend money on curatives because it can all be here now. So that argument is being heard, listened to. We're the ones to tell you. We're speaking to central governments, ministers, heads of state, religious leaders on this subject, and every single one of them is listening intently 